He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Welcome all of his glory nation from east to west to north to south. Welcome to today's Take 5 Tuesday. We got three heavy hitters with us today. Oh, my goodness. Is this going to be a program? All right. We're, so we're going to get through the announcements real quick because we, we don't want to waste any time on that. Join us this coming Saturday in New Hampshire for our next tent revival, September the 16th. There you go. You see Dr. Sherwood will be there, Chris Burgard, Donna Rigney with the prophetic, and America's General, General Flynn, will be joining us in New Hampshire uh, from there, we go to Reawaken Doral. We'll let Clay talk a little bit more about that. October 13th and the 14th, we'll be doing baptisms that Friday night. I believe we're over 6,000 baptisms uh, in the 21. This will be the 21st Reawaken. So all glory to God. Texas Revival, Mount Pleasant, Texas, October the 21st. Join us here for that. It's going to be an amazing event. Look at all the speakers. Pastor Rob McCoy will be with us. And I think we have 25 speakers. Mike Adams of Brighty on, I believe, is going to join us. That's going to be an all-day event. And then we're going to play a movie that night on our property here in Texas. Andrew Sorcini, Bo Pony, and Clay Clark. Bam! Wow. All three at once. Hey, now. Hey, man. Thanks we're bringing for the heavy us. hitters in now. Yeah. So who wants to tee it off? We're in unprecedented times. Well, I, I want to tee up some to problems that maybe Bo and, and Andrew can talk about here. I just want to bring this up. Uh, the Gateway Pundit uh, just put out an article uh, today, their day, that everyone can look that up real quick. Here. This is the Gateway Pundit. And uh, this information was shared to me by uh, General Flynn, as well as uh, many people that are much more respected than me. This is just coming in all day. So there's many uh, gold and silver dealers, some smaller players that their banks have begin have begun to fr uh, freeze their assets so they cannot deposit uh, money to purchase gold and silver. So meaning that somebody's wanting to buy gold and silver. The article you could look up here, I'm looking off to my right so I can get it right. The article is called, What is Going On? Three separate coin owners shocked as their bank account suddenly shut down with no reason. This is September 11th, 2023. So September 11th, 2023. And the, the story, if you want to get into the page two of what happened there, and this I'd love to get Bo's commentary on, is you're beginning to see that uh, people are buying gold and silver almost like, wow, I need to do this now. And so as people were trying to, in droves, buy gold and silver, recognizing that BRICS is now in existence in Saudi Arabia, 
Uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa have now formally invited, they've accepted Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and other countries to join. People are saying, wow, I need to buy gold and silver yesterday. So they're reaching out to these companies to only find out they can't buy. And then the second thing I wanted to get you guys to weigh in on today is Daniel chapter 12, verse 11 states, from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh deathless set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Now, I'm not saying that I agree with this, but I'm telling you this is what has been presented to me by very uh, realistic um, theologians and pastors that I've met on the tour, Dave. These people, these they, they've told me, Clay, these are very respected theologians. They've said March 11th, 2020, they believe is the day that the daily sacrifice was taken away. That's the day that the pandemic was declared, March 11th, 2020. So if you add on 1,290 days to that, that hits you that, that runs you right into September 23rd and or September 22nd, depending upon how you look at it. And so on today's show, Bo has been telling people, look out for September 23rd. Now people that don't know Bo keep bringing up that date and how you get to that date is you add 1,290 days on to March 11th, 2020, the day the pandemic was declared. And then over here, you got sort who's been telling people he's not a high pressure kind of guy, but he's saying you, you really want to buy precious metals while you can. And now this Gateway Pundit article reporting the facts has kicked a lot of people into the next gear as they're wanting to protect their wealth. So that's kind of what I wanted to tee up today, Dave. All right, perfect. Well, so let me go from here. Okay, so that is um, that is uh, it's all scriptural. So I love that what you've stated, Clay. Um, and so let's talk about that. Um, we are not in a point of time where um, where da that scripture of Daniel is yet to happen because as we know, the Bible is the good news. And so what it's basically stating is, you know, God's a way maker and he's going to wake, make a way for his bride. And so how he's going to do that is destroy the financial system, how they built Babylon. So as much as that calculation might be interesting, um, the more accurate calculation, which I basically shown the world is basically from the year 2020, uh, you go back 400 years and that's the Mayflower landed. And so if you go with Daniel 12, verse 7, and that says it will be for time, times and a half a time. That took us into precisely the summer solstice. And then 45 days took us precisely into what happened in Maui. Um, and then also on the exact day, the last became first. And that was when the song came out, the rich men from Richmond. So now we're here in three and a half years of glory, which is written behind Pastor Dave, which is his glory. So God's going to manifest his glory, which will then fulfill the prophetic word of the gentleman that spoke about you, Clay, who basically said, I'm that, you know, which Clay is going to be doing what he's doing with. Uh, and they also pro prophesied about uh, Donald Trump. And so that prophetic word was when Kim Clement was standing, he says, I'm standing in the year 2027 and I'm beyond the veil of limitations, which means that we've had a biblical intervention and God has shown his glory upon the earth. And what we're seeing is things that we can't imagine, particularly anti-gravity uh, was going to be exposed on the earth. And we're going to see incredible things by the year 2027 because of the three and a half year window. However, prefacing what you're talking about specifically with the banks, I've seen this going on for years already because I've been involved in cryptocurrencies. And you walk into a bank and you reference the word Bitcoin. And they're like, ah, sorry, uh, you know, we're not going to allow that transaction to go through. Uh, and so that's been going on for about three years now with the banking institutions, because why? A bet the Bitcoin is a work around the Federal Reserve, because I can literally click a button, send it to any one of you gentlemen on, on the screen here. And within a fraction of a second, you will have the transaction. Uh, you'll have the monetary instrument that I sent you outside of the central bank digital system. And they don't want that. So they always want to be involved. And now, because we're coming into crunch time, which we're talking about September specifically the the scripture is not even Dan, it's not even September 23rd the the specific two time dates would be September 24th and 25th September 24th if your if your staff has the means to put, to put a, a slide a slide that I sent over there it's slide 12 and it basically specifically it's Haggai 2 verse 10 it says blessings for a defiled people, which is what we are, because we we were killing God's creation. It says on the twenty fourth day of the ninth month in the second year. Um, so the twenty fourth day of the ninth month, which is September twenty fourth, the word of the prophet came by the came to the prophet Haggai. The fig tree, the pomegranate tree, and the olive tree have yielded nothing. But here it is. But from this day forward, I will bless you, 
and what happens on, on that slide 12. And so what it says in this day forward, I will bless you. And then Pastor Dave, you can expand on this because the day after from this day forward is what? Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, September 25. And that is when we should expect to see judgment upon the earth for what these people have done. And God is going to bring a blessing like we can't even imagine upon the earth. And he, he's going to intervene on our world and stop these people. If you go to slide 14, that's specifically what happened when you talk about Israel, Pastor Dave. What happened at Mount Carmel? Who showed up? God. God showed up at Mount Carmel. Why did he show up? Because what? The prophets of Baal were all over the place, and Israel turned to Baal, Baal worship, and that's what's been going on. So we're about to see a flipping of the tables. Uh, and then so pass, and then Andrew, go from here, but I got some scriptures I want to read as well, too, later. But so that's why the banks are starting to do this, because we're coming into a point of time they want to grab everybody and control them. And gold, silver, which we've been talking about forever, is a workaround just like cryptocurrencies around the Federal Reserve. You don't need a middleman. And so now they're trying to stop you from owning Haggai 2 verse 8, the silver and the gold are mine, say it, the Lord. So we're about to see fulfillment of scriptures, particularly Haggai is so powerful because Haggai 1 verse 10 predicted the day, foretold the day Roe v. Wade would be overturned. And that was Haggai 1. So, um, so Andrew, tell us about what you're hearing on with the banks because this is no different than what's been going on for three years with cryptocurrencies and now you're starting to see it with the banks so welcome to 2023 yeah we're seeing a lot of what clay talked about and also what you just talked about bo it's um i've had my my chase banker want to do an on-site visit next week to have me fill out some sort of mystery questionnaire we're having people that go to the bank to try to send wire transfers that are being told to um, call us and verify the bank wire instructions. And I realized that when you purchase property, they always tell you to do this. But in this case, they know these are like ten thousand or twenty thousand or fifty or hundred thousand dollar transactions. They're not the larger ones. So the idea of what the banks are trying to do is have you call us, call when your rep is on another call and he can't answer. Therefore, you're sitting at the bank, you call two, three times trying to call your rep, he's still on the same call he's been on, and if he doesn't answer, you leave the bank without doing the wire transfer. That's exactly what their goal is, and um, to, to what Clay was saying in the, uh, in the pundit, article, pundit article, there are algorithms, AI algorithms, that alert the banks when you try to do transactions under 10000 so let's say you do a $27,000 purchase and you say, hey, I'm a smart guy. I'm going to write three checks for $9,000 each. Well, that's an absolute no-no. No. That's, a, that's a red flag that is caught by the banks. And they're actually shutting down both, both the, the gold and silver dealers accounts and the account holders accounts for doing that. And it's better to just let them see the transactions over $10,000 because they've been doing this for, what, 40 years? 40 years ago, 10,000 was a lot of money. Today, it's nothing. So just let them see it. And uh, we'll deal with them when they come after us. But really, in closing, the gold and silver are the only items that you'll be able to own outside of the centralized banking system, system where it's not tracked. If you buy the right gold and silver, it is not tracked. And that will probably end maybe 10 years from now. I don't get to have this company anymore because they could effectively shut us down if we don't if we don't fight back now. You know, I, I want to ask you this here, Andrew. Is is you know, I, I um, buy precious metals, and I've always done this just on a very methodical way. So, you know, Pastor Dave, today we talked and we connected, and we all agreed to be here on this podcast. And it wasn't an urgent emotional thing, right? We're all adults. We put it in our calendar, and and you know, I wasn't saying, oh no, oh no. Would you look at? I gotta get on the podcast now. Gotta get, you know, we block it out. We we plan things. There's a certain method, a certain methodical way we do things. The His Glory team is very professional. They send the link. We're all here. Um, that's how I recommend people would buy gold and silver. I recommend they would just take a set percentage of their income and just buy consistently, as opposed to panic buying as opposed to uh the sky's falling dave we need to buy right now or oh dave i just had an idea it's four in the morning we need to do a podcast right now you know i think there's a certain methodical approach we should have i wanted to get your thoughts on that andrew and then yours dave as the world is accelerating into de-dollarization 
Uh, I want to get your thoughts on that. Sorcini, are, are you are you seeing people that are more trying to panic buy right now? Or what, what are you seeing? Well, we're seeing a lot of that, but it can certainly be much worse. And my advice to people out there would be to do business, not, not just for gold and silver, but with any of the emergency related products that are that are vouched for by people that you like. Because as things do start to accelerate and that panic buying begins, that's when the scammers are going to come out and you're going to willingly give your money to people that you shouldn't be and end up with nothing. So it's better to act with um, people that are vouched by people that you know and trust and uh, do it before it gets to that desperate situation because the pricing will be better and the delivery time will be better. Dave, it's your show, but I want to get your thoughts on that because, again, I'm starting to get people in my life that have listened to my show for you know eight years or nine years, and they're all going, hey, who's that gold guy? I want to transition half of my savings into gold today. And I'm going, whoa, 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 have you ever bought gold in your life? And they go, oh, no. Uh, and I said, well, you need to probably schedule a consultation and put, put some thought into it. Let me get your thoughts there, Dave, as we're seeing BRICS now barreling towards rolling out a central bank digital currency. Um, and just let me get your thoughts on that, on that whole urgency thing and the right mindset people should be having. I, the first is you never fear. Uh, the fear of the Lord is, is the only thing we fear, and that fear is letting him down. Um as far as being nervous and scared, we should not be nervous and scared. However, we have to have a sense of urgency. Like David had a sense of urgency picking up the rocks to take Goliath out. You can't just sit back on the fence because Satan owns the fence, but you can't run around like the, the, the world, the sky is falling and uh, the world's going to melt down. No, God is in control and uh, we love him and we trust him, but we also have to take immediate action to protect our, our homes and our, our families and be prepared. The Bible always tells us to be prepared, get our heart prepared first and then the rest of our body next. Dave, uh, you know, Bo has been talking about September being a month that we're going to remember. And uh, I don't know that, that Bo has ever hopped on. Um, you know, the Joe Rogan podcast, I don't know that he's hopped on every podcast in America, but it seems like every podcast in America is now stating, oh, wow, the mask mandates are coming back. I don't know that Bo Polney has been on Alex Jones, but Alex Jones is now saying, hey, he said this, the masks are coming back. And Bo's been talking about a lot of these things uh, long before anybody else, telling people you're going to have a very wild uh, September. He's been saying that. And then I think the second big name that I heard that was talking about September being a, a memorable month would be Alex Jones. And now pretty much everybody in the conservative or truth movement is talking about September. Um, and now you're seeing the new, new Mexico's governor, New Mexico's governor has suspended gun rights for the people of New Mexico due to increased violence. So let me, let me, let me explain this idea again here, but the, the governor of New Mexico, is saying, Bo, she's saying that because of violence that is occurring in New Mexico, the people that wish to protect themselves by having gone through the process of being approved to own a gun. Let's think about this. The people you know that have gone through the process to get a gun lawfully, they've had the background checks, they waited in line, they filled out the application, they were approved, they've gone to a class to become a concealed carry owner, to have a concealed carry permit. These people have gone through the training needed. There's a lot of training. And the governor of New Mexico has said, because the, the amount of violence is so high right now, she has to temporarily suspend the rights of the gun owners to protect themselves. And Bo, to me, this is yet another example that something big is happening in the month of September, of which we're in the 12th day of September so far. But I'd love to get your thoughts on that, Bo. Here's the thing I want to say. You know, if you go back and study scriptures, where did all the problems begin? Is in the garden, right? What happened? Satan came on and he basically he tricked Adam and Eve, or Adam and Eve, basically both of them, and he stole what? Our inheritance, okay? So we now go to work every day to buy back our inheritance from Satan. That's the essence of how this whole thing is going down. And so what's happening, Satan controls your, you know, Satan is the king of the world. I'm sorry, he's the prince of the world, and that's scriptural, but Christ, through coming back, he becoming, by dying on the cross and resurrecting, he became the final Adam. So Jesus Christ undid what happened in the garden. But the bottom line is evil is still on the earth. And what is he doing? He's deceiving 
everybody. So you have to go back and look at scriptures. What happened? Jesus died on the cross. All his disciples fled. At the Red Sea, there was no way out. If God didn't show up, there would be no nation of Israel today. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got thrown into the fire. It wasn't until in the fire where Jesus Christ showed up, and then there were four. You see, so this nation, if, the, if you're slide, if the staff can, uh, David, page seven, is about to be taken to its knees. Again, I'm not making this up. This is actually scriptural, or no, prophetic, by the prophet Kim Clement, who you we all know. What did Kim say? He goes, on page uh, seven, it says, I will bring this nation to its knees. So God's going to let them, the evil ones, bring the United States to its knees. My charts, my patterns, everything I'm looking at is all indicating we are at a precipice moment here as September ends into October. And there's also prophetic word of they will have a final kill shot so do expect there to be something that will mirror or be correlated similarly to jesus dying on the cross it looked horrible we know the story now because three days later he rose from the dead and that was the greatest victory in history ever ever right but we didn't but remember the apostles when it happened and he's died dead on the cross they're freaking out everybody bailed on them right and so god's going to let them bring this nation to its knees it's going to look horrible but you have to understand that which has been will be again ecclesiastes and so when you read isaiah 59 verse 19 and when the enemy shall come in like a flood is what they're doing right now. They're trying to shut down bank accounts. They're doing everything. Look what they're doing to Trump. Look what's going on. And so when, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. And so that leads us into Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, which are the, God's going to do something, potentially he's going to do it on a very powerful and important time point in the world. And those are his feasts, not ours. So that, and then also you're referencing the bricks. How crazy is this, right? It's not like I've been guessing. I don't want any credit for this. God reveals things to me and I want to share it with the world. What did God reveal to me? That within two years of, basically he revealed to me something historic would happen uh, on the on in September, Rosh Hashanah 2020. Ginsburg dies on that exact day, the day that it was calculated. And God revealed to me within two years, what would happen? That Roe v. Wade will be overturned. Okay, it happened. Everybody thought I was crazy when I go on your stage, and yet it happened, right? And then for two years now, I've been saying, you're going to see, and everybody always wondered what the prophecy of, you know, the brothers of Goliath. Well, who are the brothers of Goliath? What is that? And I basically forgot two years ago, God revealed to me those are the bricks. And so two years ago, I've said, watch what happens when the bricks, or the bricks within two years are going to leave and join, I'm sorry, Saudi Arabia within two years is going to go join the BRICS. Well, what happened? In 2021, Nixon took us off the gold standard 50 years to the exact day. Kabul fell. Nine days later, Saudi Arabia signed a military agreement with Russia. Within two years of that, to the exact day, Saudis joined the BRICS. So now, why is that important? Because those who understand in 73, the only reason our dollar has value is called the, Clay brought this up as well, it's called a petro dollar. Well, there's no more petrol because the contract was with Saudis. So now it's just paper. So that's why everybody's calling up Andrew. Hey, I want some precious metals. Why? Because they want money, real money. And so the money system we know now is a fraud. And it's nothing but the paper and digits. There's no more petro in the dollar. Saudis left. They're a part of the BRICS now. So you don't think people should be concerned? If you explain this to anybody, they're like, wait a second, can you repeat that again? I did a dinner last night. Like, what? And, and so they're like, where do I get gold and silver? Because the moment people understand that there's no more petrol in the dollar and it's just it's just an illusion now. It freaks people out. And that's what's going on in the world. So not that I want to be right. It's just God's got a plan. And whether we want to stop it or not, you can't. All of this is going to happen, including the greatest financial crash in human history goes down this year. You can't stop it. And the only way to protect yourself is not by fear. Don't be scared. Just own God's money. And then the bricks will fall as they will. And when the new money system comes up, if you have gold and silver, you're in the new money system. There's no fear. You just have precious metals. And when the money system flips and changes and, and we reinstate a gold standard next year, you're in the new money system Dave. and you will be blessed.
Dave, I want to get your thoughts on this. Cause a lot of your listeners, I think we, and I'm not attacking you, Bo. I'm saying a lot of listeners yeah. agree with what you just said, but I think the American consumer is about to hit a wall. I think, you know, America right now, I think we're going to hit a, a wall where th- I want people to understand these are, these are facts that I want to be very clear on. Saudi Arabia has now decreased the amount of oil they'll be exporting. Okay. So Saudi Arabia, after joining BRICS, announced they're going to decrease the amount of oil that they're exporting. So there'll be less oil to buy. And it will be at higher higher prices because of inflation, and we've been detached from the petrodollar, as Bo mentioned. And so you have Joe Biden here on September 11th. He's out speaking in Vietnam, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating. He actually said this out loud. He said that lying, dog faced pony soldiers are the only people speaking out against global warning. Global warming. He calls them lying. He calls. This is what he said. This is, the, this is the words he used to describe people that are pre, they're speaking out against climate change. He calls them lying, dog-faced pony soldiers. That's what he calls them. Then you've got over here the destruction of the dollar happening, and now you have the confiscation of uh, of gold, not, or not gold, but people's bank accounts that they're using to buy gold, and you're beginning to see this idea that you can't have your Second Amendment right to defend yourself. I would love to get your thoughts, Dave, on how you see all this, this playing out there, sir. Come, Jesus. Come, Jesus. <laughs> come, Lord Jesus. No, we're here to uh, fight the battle. And as Bo says, there's going to be a great uh, there's going to be a great victory that's going to come. We are at a climax of all these events. Uh, it's that time that we as Americans and Christians need to stand, stand up because nobody's there to protect us. Nobody's here to bail us out except the most high God. They're coming after Christians and they're coming after patriots and stand. We must stand. Andrew, I wanted to ask you this this question here, sir. Um, you start you're starting to see now Venezuela is saying they want to join BRICS now. now. Venezuela would be if we're out there if we're out there we don't know this information. I know I don't expect a lot of people to spend their day thinking about uh, geopolitics, but Venezuela is the world's uh, one of the world's largest exporters of oil. So Saudi Arabia is one of the world's largest exporters of oil. Russia is one of the largest exporters of oil. So if, if the BRICS countries there, uh, Andrew, wanted to really hurt America, all they would need to do is say, we no longer accept the U.S. dollar as payment. Maybe I'm oversimplifying that there. Uh, but I'd love to get your thoughts on that, Andrew, because I think a lot of people are having a hard time wrapping their mind around the idea that these countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, for 16 consecutive years, they've been hoarding the Earth's gold in preparation for this moment. And so they have no problem considering using precious metals as a form of payment. But but many Americans are having a hard time wrapping their mind around this idea that you can't that other countries wouldn't accept our green paper as currency. Yeah, let, just let me get your thoughts on that, Andrew. Oh yeah, there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, the the last generation of Americans that understood the true value of gold and silver were uh, people that their parents were alive during the Holocaust or during the Great Depression, because many of those people had to flee their countries with the shirt on their back and however much gold they could carry into whatever country that they were fleeing to. So we here in the States for say 80 something years after that, we've had it so good that we just feel that uh, when we turn on the news and see bad things, yeah, those things happen elsewhere, like um, floods and earthquakes, but they don't happen here. We're gonna we're gonna be fine here. But that was before all these nations are working together as a team to de-dollarize not the entire globe. And if they de-dollarize the globe, and people know and and governments no longer want to hold the U.S. dollar, those dollars are going to come back here. Well, those dollars aren't worth anything. It'd be great if they were gold backed and they came back here because we would want to own them, but they have no value. So this will probably make the dollar implode and the price of gold and silver will skyrocket. And as Clay just said, other countries already know how to transact in gold and silver, and we would be forced to learn how to do it. And that's what we're trying to teach people here is that um, you need to own some gold and silver so that when or if that time comes, we can you can be prepared. 
Dave, uh, you're seeing now Ursula. Uh, this is Ursula, the, the head of the European Union, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, I believe it is. She is saying that, uh, and again, this is Nigel Farage is saying this, and it's being reported by Fox News. This is Fox News, breaking news. They're reporting. I mean, we've been saying this for a long time. But Fox News is now reporting that the head of the European Union is saying that right now there we need to roll out CBDCs, digital ID, and essentially move into a cashless society. Uh, is that shocking to you at all, Dave? No, not at all, uh, especially when you r read the book of Revelation. You see what we've experienced real time in the last three and a half years. That mark system is upon us, and uh, the Bible's always been right, and the, I, the Bible will always be right. So it's not to be fearful, but it also tells us the time and the season we're in, and be prepared, and put our hope and our trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's the only way out of this. Well, what if somebody out there listens today, and they say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to think about it. So I think there's a, um, if we're not careful, there is a, 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 a tendency to just take in the information and to not do anything with it. And I would say that action is the real measure of intelligence. And Bo, you're dropping knowledge bombs every day. Dave is too. So is Andrew. But I would just encourage everybody, take massive action. Get moving. Bo, I'd love to get your thoughts on that. Well, a couple of things I want to talk about right now. So, you know, you're, you mentioned the, you know, you've got the book, the, the Great Reset. Let's look at it as a fist, okay? So this is called the Great Reset. And they're coming in and they want to destroy us. And that's basically what we talked about the whole time, okay? If they have their way, they will have the chip, the mark of the beast system. Everything you've talked about, Clay, is all going to happen. But here's the problem. See, the Great Reset is nothing but a uh, an entity who is a creation. Then you've got God who's a creator. And the problem is for the creation is that's all he is. That's all he is as a creation. And you've got the creator that's about to come in and show off his might. We're going to see an event that will blow people's mind because when God shows up, he just needs 24 hours and he will crush the creation, this evil agenda, faster than anybody can ever imagine. What happened at the Red Sea was nothing more than Pharaoh literally walking into God's trap. What happened on the cross was nothing different than evil literally crucifying the Christ, walking right into God's trap. You see, everything they're doing, including the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, is a complete trap that they're walking into. And the big fist of God is about to come in and literally destroy them and crush them. That is what's about to happen. It's going to be an incredible time. But when this event goes down, you're going to see precious metals do multiple in a single day. They're going to multiply. Andrew will not know what to sell anything for. We called Andrew's day at the beach. We've talked about this in prior podcasts because when silver goes from 20 bucks to 60 to 70, 80 dollars in a single day, no one's going to know what to buy it for, what to sell it for, and then everything's going to get shut down. This event, I believe, is coming in as September ends into October. We're going to see liftoff on precious metals where they're finally going to break free of all this generations of price suppression. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. This event, I believe, is coming in as September ends into October. We're going to see liftoff on precious metals where they're finally going to break free of all this generations of price suppression. I want to read this one, uh, some, some prophetic word that will give the viewers some understanding of what is about to happen. Okay, so while everyone thinks all is well, an event is coming that will cause the ground to shake, volcanoes to erupt and the markets to collapse. It's coming and cannot be stopped. By the way, this is on page five of the PDF of your staff and put it up. In the coming 10 days of all, Rosh Hashanah, September 15th, God will make his, starting on September 15th, God will make his final decision about our new year, which begins in January 2024. As this year of Jubilee that began Rosh Hashanah so last year, September 2020, beginning in January of 2024, the evil ones will no longer have control of America as their financial system will have crumbled. 
America is about to fall and suffer for a season for its rebellion against God. And this is Revelation 18, 8 through 9, Daniel 2, verse 34. Buckle your seatbelts for what is about to go down. The world as we know it is about to come to an end and a new era is about to be birthed. This is Galatians 4 and then Matthew 6 through 10. The birth will, this birth will cause a rug to be pulled out from underneath everything the elite have built, and they will fall. Their time is up, and all of their perversions are about to be revealed. They will lose their grip and control of humanity as their dollar crumbles, and America witnesses a crash of biblical proportions that forces the elite to return what they have stolen. And that's Dan Proverbs 13. 22. This will be the greatest financial event in human history. This will be the third seal of Revelation 6, wow. verse 5 through 6. As God's money, gold and silver, begin to glitter, Matthew 13, verse 23. We are about to be freed from bondage of the global elite, and their plans will crash with their economy into year end. Since Nixon took us off the gold standard in 1971, the value of everything has now become meaningless. And this has become blatantly obvious these past few years. The current financial system is now worthless. Thus, the stock market, too, is worthless, as, um, as it is backed by nothing but lies, as is their money, the dollar. The Federal Reserve note. The dollar based, this dollar based financial system is built on sand, and the world is about to find out uh, as the bond markets, stock markets, and real estate markets begin to crumble and collapse, fall into next summer, 2024. This will be the worst crash in history of the world. There will be panic, fear, and shock. So it's better to be prepared now because later on there's, there's going to be complete panic, chaos, shock. Riding will break out in reaction to what's about to go down here and martial law will be declared. The, the crash is imminent and will follow an event where many will suffer great loss. Now is a time of final preparation to store up some extra food, as Clay talks about, water, and extras, as the shelves will go bare. America will fall for a season as it is chastised by the Lord for its sins. They will want to blame Trump, but it will not work. The crash will be the near-death experience. This is what we've talked about. And then America will come back for to life for a season at the baptism. This crash will stop all foolishness going on in the world as a window of divine favor, a final window of opportunity to prepare, a time to move to the mountains. Basically, eventually we're going to be blessed with the financials so that in the future, the tribulation will begin. But everything they're doing now is what you would see in the preparation for the tribu for their tribulation or for the end times. But God is going to thwart and stop all of their plans. I've given you the scriptures. It is written. It will happen. Uh, and no one knows the exact day this is going to go down. But we are so close. God will not be mocked. That is scriptural. For what a man soweth, thus shall he reap. A man builds a hole to kill his, his brother. He falls into it. That's how it works. And these people have built, they've, they've, tr they've tried to mock us. And, and this lastly, if God doesn't intervene, if this doesn't happen, absolutely. Mark of the beast is next and, and, and all of it's going to happen. But again, God's a loving God. He loves his creation. He will not let them have their way because who's in control? God is. And so all I can say is, you know, prepare food water it's not going to hurt if you have means own precious metals i i've bought many times from andrew why because the moment i send him a wire it arrives like within a few days it's crazy the andrew's service is incredible why so i'm just telling you if you if you're going to send money you better know where you're sending it because if you're going to wait two three months to get it to receive it you're good luck on getting it because most likely you won't. So there's a lot of dealers that are out there. You got to know who you're using. Um, so, you know, there's not a lot of time here. So you got to be wise and make smart, wise decisions. I hope, I hope I've answered your clay, uh, your questions, clay. Yeah. I just, I, I bring this up, Dave, because I'm meeting so many people on the reawaken tour. You know, I think it's a great time to witness to people, Dave, but I'd love to get your thoughts on this because you and I both have tried to feature the best speakers possible at our events. And, uh, 
you know, I'm trying to lead everyone to Christ. I know you are too, Dave. Yeah, I get that. I get hit every every time from the religious spirit, every direction I get hit. One thing I want to add before we kick it over to Andrew to talk about more of the silver and gold, we talk about the timing. God always moves on the Hebrew calendar. And here are the Hebrew, here's the Hebrew calendar in the next few days that we've been talking about. Rosh Hashanah, which is the feast of shofar. The Talmud talks about the Rosh Hashanah, the civil new year, comes in on the sixth day of Genesis when man was created, when Adam was blown, uh, breathed in by the, by God. So that's Rosh Hashanah, uh, that on the day of or uh, the feast of Shofar, fifteenth through seventeenth, Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, the only day the high priest can go in to the holy of holies. That's the twenty fourth and twenty fifth, and the feast of Booths is going to be Sukkot, September 29th. So a lot on the Jewish calendar coming in the next few weeks. And God has both said, if you just did a Google study of all the events that happened in the world on the seven Hebrew holidays, you would be blown away. Well, I want to add this very good point you brought up, because if you study those uh, those feasts, these are not our, our appointed times. These are God's appointed times. OK, all we can do is study history and say, hey, what happened? Well, look, look back in history. We know that Passover was fulfilled by Jesus, you know, uh, Ascension fulfilled by Jesus. All of the spring feasts, Passover, Unleavened Bread, First Fruits, Pentecost, they were all fulfilled by Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is important to understand. The fall feasts have not. So trumpets, atonement, and tabernacles have not been fulfilled. So should God do something on the earth, the highest probability would be, number one, it would, again, you can't put it in a box, hey, God's going to do this, you don't know, because it's his it's his rules, right? But his history has told us that he's moved on his feasts. And so we do know that the fall feasts have not been fulfilled. So all I know is that it is a huge probability that if God's going to do something, it will be on the feasts. Uh, and we do know that when Christ walked in the temple here at Isaiah 61, the year of the Lord's favor, and he didn't read it, go on your stage all the time, Clay, the last line, the day of vengeance. You know, Pastor Dave, I'm sure three or four prophets have already stated that God's bringing vengeance to the earth. Yeah. When God brings vengeance, trust me, the world's going to know. It's going to shake and tremble. And in a single day, everything is going to change. And all I can, all I know is that when you study history, historically, when God intervened, the nations of the world trembled God afterwards. Look at the Red Sea. No nation wanted to come up against Israel because they heard of the God of Israel. And so something historic is about to go down we are yes we're in feasts what's going to happen which feast no one knows it's a secret but god is not going to let these people's agenda of you know enslaving his humanity happen right now why because expand on this pastor Dave. if you have a second but basically most important god's word you know he comes back with to an un to a uh, to a bride who's without spot and wrinkle and his name will be spoken across the four corners of the earth we're so far from that because it's just it's not even possible right now, but when the glory manifests, they're going to see miracles that are going to blow their mind. Like these doctors are going to see in hospitals, arms growing back on people in the name of Jesus. That is going to wake people up. At, at Clay's conferences, we are going to witness the name of Jesus restore people's legs and limbs and vision. That is coming at Clay's conferences. And that's why Clay's conference is going to go from 5,000 to 50,000 of the stadiums will be given to Clay because why the glory manifest and freak people out and woke up the sleeping giant. Mm. Amen. Well, Dave, I'll say this real quick too. If you go to time to free America.com and you do request a ticket, if you use promo code, his glory, if you say, Hey, I heard about the reawakened tour through his glory. What you do is you're entered in for a chance to win a backstage pass. And uh, the guy who won, uh, one of the guys who won the backstage pass at the last event really hit it off with general Flynn, really connected with Don jr. Had a fantastic conversation with some of the speakers. And it really is a wonderful way to uh, uh, get connected with people. So again, if you want uh, to get a little bit of a, a to get a little bit of a discount on a VIP ticket, uh, use promo code His Glory. If you want to be entered in for a chance to win a backstage pass, use promo code His Glory. And uh, again, you can always name your price for the general admission tickets, and you can go to time to freeamerica.com to request those tickets. And right now, I want to make sure I repeat that date for anybody out there that's looking. We're going to Miami, Florida, there in October, and that's going to be October 13th and 14th at the Trump Doral Golf Golf and Resort. And then we're going in on December 15th, December 15th to Tulare, California. And is it Sorcini? To Larry, uh, how close is to Larry to Beverly Hills out there, sir? It's about three and a half to four miles north, surrounded by some uh, wonderful high-end farmland. 
lots of trees, lots of uh, st strawberry patches and cotton fields. almonds. Isn't almonds. there almonds there? Yeah, yep. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Andrew, can that you also give us, I just want to, Andrew, can you give us a quick little rundown for those listening, uh, 401ks, IRAs, how do they, how quick and how fast can this happen for people? Well, we've been getting the 401ks done in less than a week's time. And uh, we've been doing the IRAs it, the fastest we've ever done them. And people should know that this, this is a non-taxable event when you roll over a retirement account into a precious metals IRA. And just um, investing in precious metals is like portfolio insurance. It's it, like insurance, like health insurance, life insurance, car insurance, or um, any type of insurance out there. But what makes it different, in my opinion, is that if I don't crash my car in 2023, Mercury doesn't call me but call me up and say, hey, Andrew, you get your premium back. You were, you were a good driver this year. But with gold and silver, if everything that we talk about that could or will happen doesn't happen, you still have your gold and silver and you can convert it back into dollars or whatever our currency is anytime you need to. Dave, I appreciate you so much for carving out time for us. You're just absolutely a great patriot. And it's so wonderful for you to provide this platform for us all to connect there, sir. Thank you all. Thank We're in living in biblical times. Uh, take action. We tell that to the His Glory Nation. Trust in God. Pray about everything you do, but be prepared. Thank you for all of you coming, and uh, light winds. Light winds. Amen. Take care, Dave. Amen. All right. Amen. Go in his shalom. God bless.